yet another exercise on the use of generating functions, this time to evaluate the Hermit polynomials in the origin. So just watching me solve this exercise is obviously a waste of your time, so do pause the video and try and evaluate this for yourself. Okay, our generating function. Let's write that down at the origin, x is equal to zero. So we get that exponential minus t squared plus 2tx, but since x is zero, that becomes zero here, is equal to a summation. And going from zero to infinity, hn of x, but again, x is zero in this exercise, t to the power of n divided by n factorial. So how does this help us? What can we do now? The right hand side is a series of powers of t. So obviously the plan here would be to also write the left hand side as a series expansion. And then let's see what happens if we can equate coefficients of t. So for the left hand side we have exponential minus t squared that we should write as a series expansion. So let's have a summation of r going from zero to infinity. The argument of our exponential, that's minus t squared to the power of r divided by r factorial. And then just copying and pasting the right hand side and zero infinity h and zero t to the power of n n factorial. Now, if you carefully consider these two series expansions, it's obvious that on the left hand side, we only have even powers of t. So that automatically means that on the right hand side, all the coefficients corresponding to odd powers of t, they should be zero. So already here we can conclude that h 2n plus 1 at the origin, that should be zero. Otherwise, we get an inconsistency. Okay, moving on. Uh, what happens for even powers of t? Well, in order to be able to compare these two series expansions a little bit more easily, we're going to do a substitution where we will substitute n by 2r on the, the right-hand side expansion. So copying the left-hand side again, we have uh, minus 1 to the power of r t to the power of 2r divided by r factorial. But then for the right-hand side, also here, r will go from 0 to infinity, and hn becomes h2r at the origin, t to the power of 2r divided by 2r factorial. And now it becomes pretty obvious that the coefficient h2r evaluated at the origin that that is equal to minus 1 to the power of r to r factorial divided by r factorial. And that's exactly what we needed to show. Now, since these Hermit polynomials are used in the gauss Hermit modes, basically the solutions there of the uh, paraxial wave equation are just multiplications of that central Gaussian mode, the fundamental Gaussian mode by these Hermit polynomials. So since these Hermit polynomials of odd order are zero, that also means that the odd order uh, Gauss-Hermit modes will also be zero at uh, the origin.